is how I learned math growing up in Texas. This says, don't do this, baby. And that's exactly what I was doing and taught growing up. I learned. Hey guys, I'm back. I missed y'all. Well, listen, this is Nikki with That Homeschool Life. And if you are looking to join an online homeschool community that offers tips, tricks, and support to help you on your homeschool journey, you're in the right place. So start now by subscribing and hit that notification bell so you won't miss anything, especially today. This is my most requested video, Beast Academy Online Review. We're going to jump right into it. Okay, so this is the 2020 update for Beast Academy Online. And for those of you, for those of you who don't know what Beast Academy is, it's a full math curriculum recommended for ages 8 through 13, and it's in a comic book style, like this. My kids love this. This, I I have a video, I always say that, but I have a video coming out on why we, we switched from Singapore Math to Beast Academy. But this is the comic book style, just so you can see. Now, this is the physical book, because there are physical books, but today we're just focused on the online platform. I just want you guys who don't know anything about Beast Academy just to see what it's all about. So that's Beast right there as I slide from side to side. Okay, so it's a pretty rigorous um, math program, but it's very fun. It follows, I think, seven or eight monster characters throughout their day, situation, shy, they begin into all kinds of stuff, just make you want to just like, Go sit down somewhere. But they're fun stories, and the children can really connect to the scenarios that the the, um, the monsters are in. And see what else. Um, there are lots of challenging problems, puzzles. The aim of Beast Academy, some of the aims are to instill a joy of problem solving and to have a mastery approach to exploration and to learn to be comfortable with struggling through problems okay not all the problems are like that but they <laughs> there are components of that but overall it's just to have a different approach to thinking about math that goes deeper than your average math curriculum okay so that spill is over I'll have a separate review on all the books and the knit the nitty-gritty of Beast Academy, but today I'm going to focus on the online program. So with that said, let's get on with the program. We're going to go to the demo because the reason why I'm doing this update is because Beast got busy and they put out like four new things. So they got a girl putting an update every couple of months like they just added one more thing like a, I think two months ago so there are four new updates with Beast Academy as of July 2020 four new updates to Beast Academy the first one is the puzzle lab that's one of the first updates they added the other update um, are tests that's the big one the tests are for each chapter for some reason, they don't show it in the demo, but I'm going to try to ha show it to you on my son's profile. So you have the puzzle lab and the test. They also added a beast builder, like you build your own avatar right here. Again, in the demo, they don't give you access to, sh to give you a peek at, at what that looks like. Again, I'll go to my son's profile and show that to you. I'm just quickly running through all the updates. And then the final update is this half-baked demo that's not showing you everything. But we're going to make it work, okay? Because they have it here. So let's take advantage of it. So those are the four updates. The demos, the test, the puzzle lab, puzzle lab, and the avatar slash beast builder. So let's check it out. Now, when you look at this page, this is what your child is going to be looking at. You have four main sections. Let me just switch to my son's profile. You have four main sections. You have the navigation system up here at the top. That's the first section. You have the learning and practice area right here. All the buildings right here is work. They got to go. They got to go to work. They got to go in these buildings and work. So that's your learning and practice area. And your third and fourth 
uh, go over here. Your third and fourth um, section is your profile and progress um, report. So again, your pro, your you're, you're building your profile over here, and then here is your progress report with more information down here. But that's just a little snapshot of everything. Okay, so, so those are your four sections. So let's get started with the navigation bar. You have this big old red button. That's your panic button or your teleporting button. So wherever you are in Beast Academy, you touch this big red bad boy. It's going to take you to the screen right here, okay? And there you go. I just clicked it and that's where you are. Now this button here with the this icon here with the bell, this this takes you to the class to practice math. So this takes you here to the classroom where you get the work done, okay? And that's your class icon. Your book right here is your library icon. This takes you to the Beast Academy guide books right here. So so oh one thing to know when you have the online subscription, you have access to all four levels of Beast Academy. You and, and there are four books in each level. So level two, you got books A, B, C, and D. Um, uh, that's gonna level three, books A, B, C, and D, so on and so so forth. With level four and level five, Beast Academy likes to color code their levels. Orange is level two, green is level three and uh, blue is level four, five is purple. Okay, so, wait, what was I talking about? Let's go, let me go back here. Okay, so, so this is your navigation. So that gets you to the library. Okay, and let me just go back to level two really quickly. Okay, so you're in the library. Let's look at the books. Okay, as you saw from the physical book I was holding up, the online books look really great. You've got two, at least two ways to navigate. You can use the scroll button on the side off to the right to, sc to scroll. I know I'm so country. To scroll up and down like that. You can also use the arrow keys on your laptop or your tablet. Don't use your phone for this, y'all. Y'all not going to have a good time. It's, it's not going to work. It's not going to look good. So don't use that. And I, Okay. So chapter one. If I want to zoom in, I can zoom in. If I want to zoom out, I can do that. So I can kind of get more of a bird's eye view with all the little stop signs and the little extra instructions at the bottom. Now, if I want to get out of this, I'm going to click this blue arrow so I can navigate back to where I want to go to. So that's your library, which houses all 16 of the Beast Academy guide books. Okay. Uh, let's see. Now, after that, we have this little old-timey 1930s camera, which is your theater. Your theater houses all of the videos. Think of Khan Academy. This gentleman, I forget his name, he's actually quite funny, and he's very lively. And let's click on one. I don't, I don't think I have the sound on for that, but uh, you can just see what it looks like. It's very colorful. Um, one thing to know when you're in the class and you're um, you're working on your lessons, if you're stuck on a lesson or you require more information, then you're going to click the, this will be a video icon. It takes you directly here. And when you're here and you're ready to go back to the lesson you were working on, you click this. Uh, sure. Okay. And it takes you back to the problem. Sorry, guys. This is my third time recording recording this doggone video. <laughs> Audio issues. So I'm, I'm st some things are still open. So if I were working on this problem and I was kind of stuck, I would click here, the video icon, and it takes me to an example similar to that problem I'm working on to give me more information. Now, if I wanted to read about it, I can also click on the book selection. It takes me to the guidebook. And the guidebook will be aligned to the section that I'm working on. You see, we were talking about pirate stuff. And here, what are they talking about? Oh, holy, a pirate stuff. Pirate's booty, okay? So that's a pretty cool feature. And then this um, just takes you back to the main page of your lessons. Okay. So are we cool? Y'all understanding and getting this? And, oh, okay. So we're at the, the video part. This is your... 
extra points section, you know, when you want to build your characters or if you want to unlock games or whatever. Um, this tells you, like, all your points. I don't even get into all this. My kids know about this. Your kids would know more about this part than anything else in this program, but don't worry about it. Right here is your, um, your question mark, and that one um, gives you instructions on the page you are on. And then here, this little gear uh, tells you, uh, it's just the settings. You can turn on or off the sound, the music. You can change the pencil color or the line. For example, let's see. If we go into, let's go into a problem here. I want to write something down. I click pencil. Okay, we're doing a thin green line. I want purple because I like print. So I'm going to go here, choose purple. And I'm going to go fat because that's how I'm feeling right now with all this eating. And boom, there you go. So I'll just erase that. Boom. And we're good to go. And then here is your profile. I hope I want to click it, but I think it might show my son's info. Let me see. I'll just edit this out. And then here I'm going to um, is your profile. I'm not going to click on this because it shows my son's screen name and everything. Although you can see his real name right here. But... Uh, just know you can go in here and get a detailed report, um, progress report on your kids, and you click this button to sign out. So let's jump into everything. I'm going to start with um, class because that's where your child will probably spend most of their time. Now, real quick, when you look at this, you want your screen is going to be different because you haven't done this yet. You're going you're going to see a number of icons, a star, a trophy, and a little a little pie. It's all going to be grayed out. Now, to get stars, you have to do a number of pro, uh, a number of problems within that lesson. And if you do three of those hard problems, you get the chance to do a trophy, which I think correlates to the starred problems within the physical book. So you get to do that. I think there are two trophy pro problems, and then you you get it to be gold. So let's just jump in here really quickly. Okay, now my son has already done this, so um, there's only so much I can show you. But this is a progress bar when you are in the lesson area. Now, green means you've gotten those problems um, correct. Um, you have two chances to get a problem correct before it goes to an all red um, circle. If you get one right, one wrong, it'll be half, uh, half red. Um, so say you get the first problem wrong, it's going to be half red. And then, well, let me just show you. All right. All right, this is wrong, clearly. So, uh, and there are sound effects. I just turned them off for this video. So, Mr. Kraken, the leader, is like, uh-uh, boo, try again. Okay, so I have a half, half red moon, like a super moon. Now, if I click the wrong answer again, it's just, going to, it's just going to turn all red. If I get it right, that's my second chance, and it turns green. But I'm going to get it wrong, and just so you see what it looks like. Okay, now once you answer a problem, whether correctly or incorrectly, you're always going to be shown the problem again with the solution, which I love. So your child gets immediate feedback on the problem, why it's right. Make sure they read it even when they get it right. My kids like to skip it, like, oh, I got it right. I'm like, now nah, you need to know why you got it right. Okay, and then usually you'll have um, some extra problems that will be the star problems. And, um, and then you can do those. Now, this little pie down here, I know I'm country, Just tell, this tells me that I started this lesson, but I haven't finished it yet. It's still in play. So that's what that looks like. Now, down here is the test. This is one of their newest additions. Now, because this is like my second or third time filming this stuff, um, I'm locked out until tomorrow. But I think I did get some footage. So if I did, you're going to see it right now. Bam. Okay, so let's start with Okay, so let's start with the test, which is one of the biggest changes or updates beast added. So, I'm going to click on here. You'll notice you'll see a star with a 1 on it. That's for when you do the second part of the test. So, let's go into the test. Okay, move this out the way. Ready to begin the test for BA Level 2, Chapter 1. Are you ready? Okay, so it's giving you just a little bit of information. Once you start the test, all other areas of BA Online will be locked until you submit your test. So keep your child from being tempted 
to get some information. All right, so once you click the test button, you will get your set of instructions. And I'll let you look at that really quickly and then I will click get started. Right here they have the little affirmations, do your best. So here are the instructions for the test. And the tests are given in two parts. The first part um, has, in this case, has 12 questions. You have to answer at least nine before you can submit that test. And then if you do well, you'll earn one star and then you'll be given the option to go to part two. And then part two just has a few questions for, in this case, and then you can submit part two at any time. And if you do well, you can earn up to three stars. So there you go if you wanna to continue to read that. And then let's get started. I just want you to see what the tests look like. Now the tests really look like your basic lessons. Same format, same kind of instructions, nothing's new. So you have your 12 problems here. And then this is the one where you can get um, some extra credit. You have, that's basically what it looks like. I'll just try to do one. And here you'll see the little icon that says quiet testing in progress. So if you're walking around your children as they're working, you can make sure they're doing their test and not doing something else they're not supposed to be doing. So let's um, let's take the test. Write the pirate number below. Use, I'm going to take the test for you guys really quickly. I'm going to fast forward so you can see what it looks like when I submit. Now, as you can see, um, once they answer the problems, they won't have the typical green or red circle indicating correct or incorrect. It's, everything's all neutral, just yellow. So we're submitting. Okay, are you sure? You have saved answers to 12 out of 12 questions. Once you submit to part one, you will not be able to edit your answers. Make sure to check your work. So you can go back and keep working or you can just submit. So we're going to submit. Okay, so congratulations. You passed part one and earned your first star on this test. Click below when you're ready to start part two. If you want to stop now without trying the challenge problems, click stop test. Now we'll just go into part two, but your child is done with the test if they want it to stop right now. But if you want to give them a little bit of a challenge, um, you can have them go ahead and do that. And then you see um, you have four challenge problems and you're able to earn some additional stars for that. And I'm not going to do that. I'm ready to get out of here. But there you go. That's what the testing looks like. You have your little quiet sign right here. You know, it's part one and part two. Part two being optional. Just a chance to earn more points and more, po more stars, more points and things like that. And that's your test. We'll have our summary right here. And that's if you wanted to have a summary of what you, what you were doing. And that's it. That is what the test looks like in Beast. Let me put this back on me, guys. Let me, let me be the one. Okay. So, hey, I'm back. All right. So, the go back to the video. And let me remove myself from here so you guys can see the screen. So we're going to go to the video section. Now the videos guide you through an example similar. Okay, well let's go video. Okay. So the videos guide you through an example of similar problems in the lessons, okay? And I'm not going to spend too much time on that. I showed you um, briefly what that was all about. You have no your little status bar here. You can adjust the sound. We'll you have close X's. captioning. You can make this a full screen. Symbol. The guy is really two funny. He's very lively and, and animated. Um, if any if any time you forget where you are, there's always a little help uh, area right here that tells you 
what part that of the lesson you're working on. And uh, remember, you have your bigger navigation up here, but this tells you exactly where you are. So let's just go back to the main screen. And now let's go to, um, we did the class, we did the theater. Remember, you can enter all these places from this learning area or the navigation area. Oh, one thing I forgot, I know I'm talking really fast. This is part of your navigation. This is called the playlist. Your playlist is an ordered list of all the lessons, videos, and readings in that section. So you see here, now if, you're, if your child hasn't done something, um, all these icons right here on the side, on the left, will be gray, and the video icons will be gray. So you see here, all of these are in color. That means my son completed all of the all of the requirements, okay? If you let's say you're looking at your child's you're looking at your child's playlist and Beast puts this all together for you. And then at the end you have your test right here. And right now it says I'm locked out because one thing you can do with the test, you can take the test. Maybe you don't like the score your child received. You can wait, I think, a day and then you can have your child repeat the test. So Say I, I'm looking at this and I see, oh, 1.9, my child didn't watch the video or they didn't do the lesson. And you want them to knock everything out. Then you can just go right there. It pulls up that lesson and then you can have your child do what they need to do. Okay? Also, one thing to note, whenever you start a lesson, no matter where you are, you, you'll, you will always have an instruction page that pops up right when you start the lesson. Um... Every time you log in, it will show you the instruction page. You just click this little eye icon to get out of it. But make sure your child and you read the instruction page. It's very helpful. It's really, really helpful. And I can go into all this stuff at another date. I just want this video to not be so long. Um, so I think that's it for right now for the lessons. Now let's go into the puzzle lab. Okay, now... The puzzle lab, I'm not going to stay on this one very long. My son doesn't do them too much. He likes to watch my older son who loves these. But I'm just going to scroll through these. Right here, where I'm waving the mouse, you'll see the examples of the puzzles as I scroll through. Okay, you got the blobs, ice rinks. And these puzzles are pretty challenging. They have their own little hierarchy of icons. The moon is a medium difficulty. The comets are hard difficulty. The planets are expert difficulties. And the galaxy are the beast level difficulty. Those are the ones that are like, well, if your dad's not a rocket scientist who graduated from MIT, you might require some help. <laughs> that's how I feel. Sometimes that stuff is, is pretty um, crazy. But that's what the, um, the puzzles look like. I'm not going to spend too much time on that. Um, but I have all of mine locked because I want my kids, actually I should unlock them so my kids can just do any puzzles that they want. That's another video on how you can control um, access. All right, um, the progress tab, that's going to be another video because I'll show you why. Because it gets very detailed. For those of you who have done um, Dreambox, Beast Academy's progress is very detailed like Dreambox. This is not, this is only a snippet of what you will see. You need to go into the parent account to really see it. But for the kids, um, this is just enough for them to see how many stars they have, trophies, how many points, how many lessons they've done out of so many lessons. Um, okay, I don't know why I'm in Beast 5. <laughs> He's done 100 in Beast 5. But um, you have the activity. Um, you can see what they've done on each day how long they've played, how much they've read, how much they've watched, how many stars they've earned, and then they'll tell you like what, and this is just for me playing around with you guys. They'll just um, show you all the information you need to know. Sections read, videos watched, you got all the business. All right, so we go back to the profile. And I think that's it. The Beast Builder, I don't really have access to it for my son. It's just choosing body parts and clothes and stuff like that. You know, it, it's a little fun part. And, well, maybe I can get into it. Let's see. Come on, Beast. Let me get into something. I don't know. And that's it. Here, let me put my mug back on the screen. That's it, guys. It's really not that hard. It's so fun. Um, but let me get into the cost, the money. 
the money, baby. How much is this going to cost you? All right, so I have my notes because as of July 2020, this is what it's going to run you. Okay, so you have three kinds of subscriptions. You have a monthly, yearly, and a bundle. We do the yearly, but here are the prices. Just so you know, the the problems in the actual physical practice book, and this is not the practice book, but the actual problems are not identical to the practice problems online. They're totally separate. Only the guidebooks are identical with the physical version and the online version. All right? Um, concern with beasts, and it's not really a major concern, but it's, it's an issue, is that they don't have text-to-speech capabilities. So if you're using this for younger kids, or for kids who, you know, um, might be slower readers, then they're not gonna, you're gonna have to read to them. And just in terms of um, me always wanting programs to be all inclusive, I think that's something, if they're not working on, and I'm gonna call them about that, if they're not working on that, they need to be working on that to make sure it, it's accessible to everybody. My kids can read, there's no problem, but I'm thinking about everybody's kids, because in my mind, Everybody's kids are my kids. Oh, and I didn't knock the mic down. I know I always have a problem with this mic. I'm going to fix this, though. All right. So, um, so they don't do that. Hopefully, they are in the works to get that fixed. All right. I think that's everything, guys. I am going to have another video, a couple of videos, on how I use Beast Academy, and I'm going to go over the test. Oh, one last thing I'm going to leave you with. There, this is what I do, and this is going to be part of my How I Use Beast Academy. Under the resources, if you go to the main page where you clicked on online, you'll see a tab that says resources. You click on resources. I think this might be it. I'm good. All right, so remember this page here? I'm trying not to show all my son's info. You're going to click on where you clicked online to go to the demo. Well, instead, you're going to click resources, go to planning. And then boom, you're here. Now, if you're not sure where to start your kid, you have placement tests. And this is what B suggests right here. Um, students ages 8 to 9, start at level 2, kids 9 to 10, level 3, so on and so forth. You can read that on your own. And then here are the placement tests that you can print out to give to your kids for each level. Okay. Now, if you don't want to use a placement test, you can just... Um, go by their recommendation of starting your child a level below their grade level and don't there's no shame in that because I'm gonna show you in a minute Beast Academy is very rigorous if you go down to the standards and I'm just gonna go into Beast Academy 3 apparently that's third grade right <clears throat> but when you look at the standards you'll see third grade standards third grade standards more third grade standards. Ah! You got a second grade standard. Oh my gosh, that's so low. But B's is supposed to be rigorous. Oh, hold on, baby. That's level two. Skirt. Now we're at grade four level standards. So you got your grade four standards. And those you'll see around like the last two books in the series. Then you got grade five standards. And you're going to see this early, as early as the second book in the series. That's your fifth grade standards in there. So you can see at a glance, you know, that can help you prepare for your child. Now you got what? Baby, yes, grade six goals. You got grade six standards. And that's in the, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> the, that's in the third book of the series. It's just two of them, but it's the geometry. Um, and as a matter of fact, they tell you tell you if you're using um, level three, just a little sidebar. If you're using level three, it starts off with shapes. They say that it's the hardest, one of the hardest sections in this level. And if your child is having problems, just go to number two, Skip County. It's very rigorous. But I just wanted to show you that. So that's the resources tab. Now the sequence and chapter overviews. They look like this. 
This is the sequence. I'm sorry. This is the sequence. So those of you who, who have used Singapore Math, also known as Primary Mathematics, and the Home Instructor Guide, this is similar to that. It tells you the lesson. It um, corresponds the Common Core. Now, B says that they're loosely aligned with Common Core. I think everybody has to kind of say that to sell the books, but there you are. And you can click on that to get more information on that strand in the core. But you come over here, you have your guide book, which is your textbook with all the, the comic book style. You have your practice book, and then you have your work online. So if you want to tie in everything together when you're planning, you can be like, okay, so Monday we're going to be doing reading this, and then we'll do these two pages, and maybe tomorrow we'll do lesson one in chapter one. However you want to slice it up, chop it up. But that's your sequence. I recommend when you're getting started to print this out and to print this out, put it together, staple it, bind it, whatever, and use that as your home instructor guide, okay? Your teacher manual, your teacher edition, if you will. <clears throat> this is the overview. Don't skimp on this. This tells you all kinds of pertinent information you need to know as an educator. Why? Well, after they, they have manipulatives that you can use to help teach. And then they can show you things not to do. For example, we, this is how I learned math growing up in Texas. This says, don't do this, baby. And that's exactly what I was doing and taught growing up. I learned addition this way, the column way. <laughs> They're like, don't do that. Please don't do that. Do this. And so they show you this. So when you're looking at this before you teach your child, you'll get tips and things to do that won't contradict what's going on in the book. So please read the overview before you just jump right in with both feet into the 20 foot deep end of the pool. All right. And that's what that looks like. Your chapter overview. All right. So let me go back to my face on the camera so y'all can see me. Uh oh. What happened? Guys, I can't get back to y'all. Uh oh. Oh, here we go. Okay. So there you go. That's the kit and caboodle of Beast Academy Online 2020 update. I hope that was helpful. I'm sorry I was going really fast talking like an auctioneer, but this is like my second or third time filming this, and I was just tired. Y'all can see my eyebrows are greasy, and they're about to melt off because, you know, I draw my eyebrows in. And I'm just a mess, and I'm hot. But I wanted you to have this information. Just know I'm going to have some smaller breakout videos where I focus on the testing part and the progress report and how I use Beast Academy, how I went from it being a supplement, which you can use it as, and then I went to it being our main curriculum, which you can use that as. So I'll have all of that. But if you made it this far into the video, Thank you, because you are so awesome, because I know I was just going on and on. But thank you so much. Um, that's it for now. So if you would do me a huge favor, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. Y'all, that really helps me out more than you know. This is Nikki with That Homeschool Life. Thank you for hanging out with me. Um, anything else I need to add? No, I don't. So I'm out. I will see you on the next year. Peace out.